Reddit, what's a secret your job keeps from the public? At the hospital they have secret employees who walk around to make sure doctors and nurses sanitize their hands before entering and existing a patient's room. You'd be surprised how many don't follow protocol and end up getting written up in a day. Worked in a library for two years. We don't make deadly squad from your book or DVD finds. They're designed to be a deterrent more than anything else. And under the right circumstances we're very amenable to just making them go away. If you had a tough week and couldn't make it to the library to return your books, we can work something out. Laughing about being too lazy to bring them back forgetting you had them entirely? Yeah. Those fines aren't going anywhere. That being said, libraries don't like to penalize people who can't pay their fines. If your kid has so many fines that the computer locks him out so he can't do his homework, they're usually more than happy to help you get logged on for the day. Worked in a no-kill animal shelter. The thing is, no-kill still does mean you have to put animals down sometimes. Especially behavioral issues are terrible. When is a dog too dangerous? Can you rehome a pit bull with a bite history? What if they get too dangerous for staff to handle? Especially when it gets out that we had to put a specific animal down and all those Facebook warriors start rioting and calling you names. It's not like we make those decisions for fun. We bill by the hour but no one who works in this industry monitors their time closely. Olive Garden server, you can get 3 free wine samples every time you go. We claim to be a leader on the technology front. But we are literally running off of Excel macros with random codes that no one knows how to understand correct without causing the entire company to crash. I work at a major chemical plant upriver from a major city. If it came out how old, run down, and poorly maintained literally all of the equipment that we use to make sure that hundreds of millions of gallons of contaminated water don't leak or straight up spill into the river, the EPA would shut every plant on the river down. However, the EPA is aware of how inefficient and poorly disposed all our waste products are. The plant I work for has a yearly budget dedicated to paying fines. I'm a doctor. It's not the vaccines that cause autism. We soak the needles in non-essential oils that causes the autism. The average programmer and IT guy is just better at googling things than you are. We're supposed to be teaching information literacy. But none of us really checks to see if our students' sources are legit or not. Edit. A lot of people are commenting about Turnitin. We use safer sign. Those are only capable of flagging for plagiarism. What I'm talking about is checking to see if when a student cites a source for a claim if that source actually said it. And if that source is at all reliable. There's no software for that. About a quarter of all the gonorrhea we find is in the throat. And a new study. Suggests transmission from deep kissing. Not necessarily a secret but it's challenging to get other providers to do testing for all sites at risk. Just a reminder. Whenever you go for your routine STD testing. Make sure every orifice that's touched a pink part gets swabbed. The chicken bites aren't cooked to order. The fries look darker today not because they're extra crispy. But because the shift manager was too lazy to change the oil. Which should be changed every 5 hours. The house sauce is just mayo, ketchup, paprika, and pickle brine. The sticky patch outside the bathroom might be pee. Most of the time all it takes for a free upgrade is being polite. My manager will literally ask us are they being nice? Unless it's the weekend or show night. Then we literally do not have the availability. Yes. Even if it's a show that you are not personally interested in going to. For everyone asking what I do. Just assume it's like this everywhere. Because it usually is. All of our videos are made by the same people. In the same building. And we just change the text logo. All of the interviews are scripted too. They literally feed the lines to the subjects. Because they don't want to pay us a fair wage or give us benefits. We also don't have to sign anything meaning no NDA. Dodo Thrillist now this. Edit. Wow I literally just got fired. It's not because of this post. I just think the timing is hilarious. I'm a nanny. So there are so many secrets kept from me so they aren't leaked to the public. For instance, on my second day of a new job, I worked for a nice, high profile family. I picked them up from their prestigious preschool and the oldest, 5 year old, said, 
Daddy has a big bump on his D that he had to get poked at the doctor. I had to look oh lay daddy oh. Aka my boss. In the eyes that evening knowing he had a pimple D. Not serious matters that would drive the country into mass hysteria. Just yeah no. Stuff like how much beer the parents drink. The fighting. And oh the details regarding genitalia. Go to love kids. They relay so much TMI it's not even funny. Volunteer paramedic. When we find an old person who clearly has been with no pulse for hours we close the doors. Shut relatives out and pretend to do something to avoid useless legal action. The longer I'm in engineering the more I know that we don't get the design right so much as we just go with the best we have the moment we run out of time or budget. Our secret sauce is just Thousand Island dressing. I'm a special education teacher. And the amount of injuries people sustain while working in this field is staggering. I teach high school and the kids can go until they are 21. So most of the violent students are adult sized. We get concussions. Bites. Broken wrists and arms. Scalped. As well as sexually assaulted by students who will grab you by your breast. Pull out their D and start masturbating. BTW I like my job very much and enjoy working with the students. However. There is so little public knowledge of how dangerous the position is. Municipal worker. We do actually work hard and care about the city and it's hard on us when people stop called to yell at us without getting all the facts and we know we can't really defend ourselves. Most of the time you are reaming out a laborer who has no control over your taxes or which street is getting paved. Receptionist. Calling to reschedule you due to schedule constraints or because the doctor is suddenly traveling usually just means they decided to take the day off on a whim and now we need to clear off the schedule. That we don't recycle anything that we can't make money off of. The ice cream machine isn't broken it just needs cleaning which takes a long time. BK worker here. Your package gets thrown 5-20 feet more than 5 times in its journey to you. A lot more the further it has to be shipped. If it doesn't say fragile it's getting chucked. I don't have a job but back when I was 12-15. I would sometimes help out with the family businesses which was selling coffee and twisted chips. When we first started. The thing that attracted people was that we would always have baked goods up for grabs and everyone loved it. The reality was that we bought it all from Costco. If you don't know what Costco is. It's a wholesale store in a huge warehouse building. Put it in different packaging and played it off as if we made them ourselves. This went on for 2 years within the business. Edit. Holy crap 720 upvotes what? Ike that might sound lame but this is the first time this has happened to me so yeah. Damn I sound really desperate here. Don't I? Goodwill has their own landfills for things that don't sell. Things sit on shelves for weeks with continuous price decrease. Then one last shot at selling at the outlet stores where everything is price per LB. Also, I was just saying that cause of the title. Don't get me wrong. Their programs and community work they do is great. Your child's school report is probably word for word the same as half of their class. There's only so many ways you can say Otto works hard but needs to focus on accuracy. Teacher here. We totally talk about your children and the faculty room all the time. Sometimes they're nice comments like oh you have Emma? I had her last year. She's awesome. Usually they're not nice. Not my industry anymore. But banks would often make decisions that were probably technically illegal about which houses to repair. Bartender here. When it comes to wine half the time we make up what we're telling you oh the Chilean cab is a bit earthier with fruity notes whereas the California is a dry botanical. It should also be known that I work in an Irish pub and not a 5 star wine house. Wine people are the goddamn worst snobs in the world and I will say whatever makes them stop talking to me. Edit. Just remembered this. Anytime someone sends back a glass and asks me to open a fresh bottle I pour from the exact same bottle. Has never failed and they always smile and thank me. Every bookbinder I have ever met owns all of the stereotypical things required to summon a demon in their desk. None of us have ever done it as far as I know. But there's a power in that. Chalk? Yep. Leather? Defiantly. Candles of all colors? Yep. Blood? 
I have cut myself with this knife so many times and I'm not even doing anything with it. Thick tomes of Latin or another dead language? Pa. We're probably repairing it right now even as you complain about the cracked spine of your notebook. Random hubs. Yet left my lunch here last week. A virgin sacrifice? I'm right here. When we present yours and someone else's profile in front of an employer at the same time. A lot of times one of you is there to make the other look better. If you're a regular customer who doesn't tip your delivery driver, your order is never going to be a priority. Edit. A word. If you get a call from a telemarketing or research call center, you need to specifically ask to be taken off the call list for them to stop calling. Don't be polite and make excuses. Don't mention that you don't have the time. Don't mention the time at all. Don't even just hang up. All of those will often have the company assume on a technicality that you could technically take the call at a later time. Just straight up ask to be taken off their call list, or put on their do not call list. You didn't hear this from me. You aren't supposed to know this, but we won the state clean audit award for the fifth consecutive year and didn't notify our customers. We want to give students the assistance they need. But if a school is the one to test diagnose a child for autism disorders then we are the ones that have to pay for all the follow up medical help. I work at a university facilities department. My colleagues actually really do care about students, student research, and opportunities, at uni and beyond, for students. This shouldn't be a secret but I am constantly and consistently impressed by how much our electricians, custodial staff, EHS. You name it care about students excelling and achieving. Delivery driver. We add 10-15 minutes on the estimated delivery time so we seem speedy and not seem late if we're stuck in traffic. We also charge delivery fees that most people don't notice or ask about. Only the crust and the sauce are homemade all of the toppings are frozen or canned. I work at a cemetery, and I can confirm that the concrete or metal vaults that the casket goes inside of in the ground do not keep the caskets from getting wet. Actually they do the opposite and just hold water inside. The sales team will always try to paint a nice picture in your head of what the casket vault combo will look like in the ground. And it's a complete lie. One of many lies in the cemetery funeral business. We don't check makeup shelf lives. It's very probable that your makeup is over 10 years old. Not at current company but former one. Everyone had to take additional coursework on business ethics and anti-corruption laws because a subsidiary was found bribing officials to sell the company's products. A clinical trial for Parkinson's failed because of C's. Serious adverse events, resulting in at least 3 deaths related to the product. It's now being reformulated and will go through clinical trials again as an arthritis medication. Another clinical trial failed because it was found to be toxic for Asian blood cells. They had originally tried to bypass this by excluding Asians from the trial. Just to be clear, not all pharma companies are like this. There's always a few bad apples. Lots of professors are winging their lectures and showing up to office hours really does help your chances of a good grade. A lot of restaurants I worked at relied majorly on microwaves. Still, large batches, pre-prepped, labeled by date and frozen in. Even if they did keep an eye on those dates, Gordon Ramsay and any other kitchen inspection program would still have a duck in cow. Let's see, which secret to share? Well, we'll go with this, not my current job. But we release convicted sex offenders from prison who have not completed all of the required counseling or therapy required by the state. There's an obscene number who don't even start the process before they are released. I currently work at a drug and alcohol rehab. AA has an abysmal success rate. If you measure success by continuous sobriety over a significant period of time. And that is how AA tends to do measure it. But because one drink is considered failure, a lot of people drop out of AA out of shame and it takes them a long time to get sober again. Fever. I've seen people with 20 plus years of sobriety beat themselves up and feel like failures over one night of drinking. Various harm reduction interventions have higher success rates. Harm reduction strategies measure success by drinking using less often. In smaller quantities. 
and more responsibly, if we're pretty ducked up all last year, but you're sober often enough to show up for work most days this year, that's success. Here's the big shocker, most problem drinkers and drug users recover on their own without treatment. By recovery, I mean learning how to have a functional relationship with alcohol and drugs. I know a few people in our community that were court ordered to rehab and or AA years ago and stopped going as soon as they didn't have to anymore. They aren't 100% sober all the time now, but they go to work every day. They have happy marriages. They take good care of their children. They don't get arrested. They don't get behind the wheel drunk or high. In not saying 12 step programs are worthless. Some do stay sober the rest of their lives and are happy. I think that's success. But it's not the solution for everyone. Unfortunately, rehabs that use different treatment models tend not to receive government funding. Courts tend not to refer defendants to harm reduction. And AA unfortunately perpetuates the myth that permanent sobriety is the only alternative to prison. The madhouse. Or death. And that AA is the only place to achieve permanent sobriety. Not my current job but I used to work as a front desk agent in hotels. Hotels can and do book more rooms than are available. Most systems allow sites like Expedia to book the hotel to 102%. Expedia bookings are the lowest priority. If you don't want to get bumped, book from the hotel's own website. Also be aware that at midnight, the booking system rolls over to the next day. If you need a room after midnight, call the hotel. Starbucks drinks are not nearly as complicated as you would think or what they make you think. I used to work for a pesticide company spraying flies on farms. Some of the poisons we used were so strong that one pint added to a 500 gallon tank of water and sprayed could knock flies right out of the air immediately and was just as toxic to birds. In fact we were told if we ever accidentally spilled a bottle of the stuff on the ground we should contact the EPA to clean the mess rather than try to do it ourselves. Ironically by fall the flies had developed such a resistance to the poison that the only way it would kill them was if you drowned them in it. Still would kill birds though. One last thing. It was an organic pesticide that could be absorbed through any unprotected skin of the human body. I worked there just one year because of this. Starbucks operates some stores in a region district intentionally on a lot in order to weed out competition. They pretend to give a rit about the community but they are just another slimy corporation who only cares about money. Also, 7-Eleven has better coffee. Climate science. We would get paid the same even if there was no such thing as climate change. You wouldn't have thought that was a secret. But here we are. I work for a public agency and Jesus Christ people you're the reason why everything is so itty and slow. If someone ever attacks the country, we're basically ducked unless the US or China intervenes. Hospitality culinary, they take advantage abuse foreign interns with the promise of teaching them the trade, giving them a cultural experience. In actuality, these interns are getting tricked into cheap labor and are gonna be worked like a dog for a year. If you're polite and it's the end of the day, I will give you free baked goods I made earlier. All dog food, vast majority of trendy brands, is garbage and none of the companies care about your pet. Just the money. Some surgeons have absolutely no business operating on people. Our pastries are supposed to be made fresh. But it's all just frozen in the freezer and we just heat it up. At my last job someone cut off the tip of their finger. It was not reported to Osha or the Asda. Also we never found the fingertip either. Edit, it was none of you. The guy it happened to is currently in prison. Chain steakhouse restaurant I used to work at for years. All these methodicas ordering a 6 ounce. Sirloin butterfly well done but juicy. That order does not exist. Outside of very time consuming methods. Slow roast. Sous vide. Etc. For a place putting out entrees in 12-14 minutes. That steak would be butterflied and microwaved in a shallow dish of or just Slapped on the grill for 30 seconds for char and bobs your uncle. Perfectly legal. Safely cooked and all of that. But not how a steak should ever be prepared. You know some of those big title MMO games from AAA rated developers. Well. 
Don't spend too much time grinding for things with a low drop rate because a lot of the time the developers put ridiculous cooldowns on finding those items. You know that awesome ingredient you just found after a week of grinding you needed to make that potion? Well since you just found one that item is now on a 30 day drop cooldown for you and the devs are never going to communicate that publicly. Happy grinding. Not current job. But there's a reason your warranty and often extended warranty end just before the problems start. The same test facilities that test for safety and quality control also test for component durability. Ever notice how car warranties are getting shorter year over year? What happened to 5 years 100k me warranties? Do you think they don't test how many door open closes your fridge takes before the hinges and seals wear out? You don't really believe that 1 year warranty on your $200 75% off bargain by 60 inches is going to get used. Do you? This is seemingly more common with American manufacturers that used to be high quality but are now being forced to use cheaper components to retain flexibility in market fluctuations. Vision Express opticians can get you most types of lenses if you're not set on a specific brand. Just a product type, overnight or in two days. Glasses take a total of about 20 minutes to make and check. Unless you're getting sunglasses. 1.67 index lenses are a waste of money. Buy a 1.6 index or a 1.74 if you have a large prescription. If you buy a smaller frame, your lens will be thinner as well. We tell customers that we have a supplier we get our parts from for repairs. Amazon. Our supplier is Amazon. Anesthesiologist here. We don't know exactly how many of our drugs work. We just know they work and roughly what dose is necessary to achieve the desired effect. Edit. By we don't know I mean it is unknown to science. We are extremely knowledgeable about all there is to know regarding the meds we are giving you. But some of our mainstays, for example the volatile inhaled agents that are the mainstay of general anesthesia, do not have known exact mechanisms of action. I work at a plasma center. Your bottle of plasma goes for around $1000 we give you $25. When animals at the pet store die, yes, they do sometimes. We put them in black trash bags and store them in a freezer until they can be picked up by the truck. This only happened like 2x a year at my store, so it built up pretty quick.